So, I trimmed Oscar yesterday, and I've still got to pluck his ears and stuff, because you have to pull the ears out and stuff, and he's so mad at me right now. Okay, somebody said, check the lump on his chest. Okay, y'all, he's a pug. Um, they have big briskets, but this right here is a swirl in his hair. It's a swirl in his hair where he has a whoop de whoop de whoop and it's hard to get until I go over it with a finishing blade, which normally I give him a couple, three days for his hair to kind of get used to growing back out after I've clipped him, and then I'll run a finishing blade. It's kind of like, you know, running a finishing blade over a hayfield or something. I, but I give his swirls a couple of days to kind of, you know, get over things. Now this right here is just fat because he's a 10 year old dog and he's a pug and he's old but he is as my vet says the healthiest pug pug mix that she's ever seen and he did get bit by a non-venomous snake right through here a couple years ago healed with no problems but as you can see he's got a swirl here he's got a swirl there and i could be really rude and show you the one right under his butt crack too he's got one right here too but they have big briskets but he is in perfect health he sees the vet for all his checkups and if he has any problems he sees the vet and he's fine so the last thing i've got to do this evening is trim his eyes and his nose and then i'm going to run the finishing blade over his swirls but the dog has nothing wrong with him. I was pre-vet in college before I changed. And my daughter is uh, graduated from UT, veterinary medicine. So um, we kind of got it covered, but thanks for your concern. Um, but uh, take care of your own dog, and I'll take care of mine. I'm an adult, 45. I know how to... I know how to handle a dog. He's 10 years old, and he's only ever been sick once, and that was when he was bit. And my vet thinks he's like the luckiest dog in the world. Of course, when I give him haircuts, he doesn't think so. Do you, Oscar? He's still slightly mad at me. He'll get over it. See, he got glued up in a blanket last night to sleep. Ooh, big baby. You big baby. You big baby. You gonna lay down? You gonna lay down on me? Oh... See, they just don't know what a fat old pug looks like. No. It's just like if a fat woman was to... No, I'm sorry. They won't say anything about fat women anymore because Lizzo can get on stage and she's stunningly beautiful. But honestly, it is just like if a fat person sees so got a swirl on his butt that pokes out and I have to cut it with a finishing blade. It just takes his swirls a little while. His cow licks a little while to come out so I can cut him. It's just the way his hair is made. My vet thinks it's hilarious because he's got so many cow licks. But um, it's just like if somebody's on um, a big girl goes on TV, they have to say something about, oh, you've got a water knot or you're retaining fluid. Or, and it's just like, listen, listen, it, you know, if it's not your body or it's not a body that you take care of. Shut up. Just shut up. Say something nice. Say something polite. And you might have said it in a caring spirit. Um, but I told you my dog was 10 years old. And for a pug, that's an extremely old dog. <laughs> and he's an extremely healthy old dog. So uh, give me some credit and uh, climb out my sphincter. Thank you. I mean, what other dog has a hammock, an orthopedic mattress, and a snuffle bed and gets wrapped in his own pet blanket for naps? I mean, I wish I lived half as good as this dog. Are you rotten, Oscar? And all his toys are under his bed. You're rotten, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're rotten. <laughs>